What's up, Hermanites? I'm Scott Herman. You already know that. It's my bro, Dave. How you doing? We just got done doing a, a really awesome back workout. If you guys haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out right here. The pump was pretty good. Yep. But Dave came to the gym today to film the back workout, and we started talking before we filmed about weight belts. Dave has a weight belt. Dave really likes to use a belt. Um, you guys never really see me use one. I do have one. Uh, it's my BSN weight belt. It has my last name in the back. It's pretty cool. It's a really expensive belt, but for me personally, I don't like to rely on a belt. I want to use my internal belt, which is taking a breath and then flexing your core as tight as possible while using the breath that you take in to push against your abdominal wall and push against your entire core all the way around to make this a solid piece. And that's why I don't normally use a belt. Um, is there a time when you should use a belt? Well, if you have a weak core, you may want to use one, but then if you use it all the time, you're gonna get, you're gonna always have a weak core. You're never you're not really doing anything to, to make it stronger. Uh, if you're on a strict power lifting program where you're doing a lot of really heavy lifting, yeah, it might be a better for you to use a belt at least two to three times a week because you're fatiguing your lower back a lot. If you need to handle all that volume, all that lifting without throwing your back out, or if you just wanna be able to continue to lift, you might need some support. But Dave, so, Tell the, the community what was told to you about your belt. Well, I was in the gym, I was lifting, I was doing deadlifts, I was going for my one rep max, I think it was 415 or whatever on deadlifts. Um, the guy came over to me and he was telling me that I should get a real powerlifting belt, that this wasn't cutting it. Um, he told me to get the one that kind of locks in. Um, but Show them your belt, first of all. It is, this is this a isn't no, belt. This isn't no accessory to the gym. This, this is a legit belt. This isn't no uh, Nike $30 belt that you get at Champs. I mean, this is a legit belt that I got offline. Yeah, I mean, a lot of money. unless your belt goes on and you do Velcro, I mean, I would probably not want to use that. It's not that really that safe, but as long as you've got some clips and you can lock in, that's a really decent belt. And this yeah. belt is thick. So it's really thick. If you don't think you have to get the belt that clamps in, the main reason, I mean, obviously those belts are a little more expensive. They are a little bit nicer to use. And as a power lifter, if you're just trying to get into your set, it's a lot easier to clamp it really tight. Because if you don't have the clamp, you have to use a different or alternative method to get that belt as tight as possible. But one thing that I went over with Dave, and this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the gym, when I see people lifting and using a belt, is they just use the belt wrong. And you can actually do more damage using a belt the wrong way than you could if you didn't have one at all. And what I mean by that is, if you're going for your one rep max, and you're lifting a ton of weight, and you put that belt on wrong, it's like you're not even wearing anything at all. So mentally, you might psych yourself up, okay, you know what, my back's gonna be fine, I got my belt on, and then when you do the set, as you bend over, that belt's sliding up and down. Like, what is that doing? It's doing nothing. It's doing absolutely nothing for you. The reason you put a belt on is to keep all of this as tight as possible. And when you use no belt and you use your internal belt, what I just talked about, which is where you take breath in and then flex and push, you're pushing everything into itself within your abdominal wall. So now, if your belt is on loose, and this is why I don't have a shirt on, I wanted to show you guys this. Say the belt's on like this and it's kind of loose, okay? You're gonna have to mentally push your stomach out like that to touch the belt to make the belt actually work. And so what you're doing is you're over exaggerating the internal belt to make the, this belt work for you. The weight belt is supposed to be an added benefit to make your core stronger. It's not supposed to be what you're now relying on to do the lift. It's not supposed to be, okay, my belt's on, so I don't have to even think about what's going on inside of me. So, some tricks that you can do to get the belt super tight, and this is how you're supposed to wear a belt anyways, is get it on where it's supposed to be. And now, I actually had to make a few extra notches on my belt. And that's one of the things that we figured out with Dave is, he gets it on tight, but it needs to be a little tighter. You can get a drill, and you can just drill extra holes. You can't even tell that I drilled these. So it's not gonna ruin the belt. Exactly. But what you wanna do is get the belt nice and tight. If you use a pole or something sturdy, or you can have one of your friends help you, is you wrap it around like this, and now what you need to do is take in a breath, suck in your stomach, and then get as tight as you can. You should feel 
Like you're walking around like you're like 800 pounds like the Hulk. You know, you want to feel like this belt is keeping your weights nice and tight. Now, there is such a thing as putting the belt on too tight, like there is such a thing as putting the belt on too loose. So if that belt is too tight and you can't properly take in a breath and contract your abs and use your diaphragm and push all that together nice and tight and sit to do whatever lift you're doing, then the belt's too tight. So you might have to experiment with that. Um, also too, when you have your weight belt on, if you can't breathe, it's a good indication that it might be a little too tight. And if you start to lift and you start to get a little lightheaded, there might be an indication that the belt's a little too tight as well. So loosen it up if you have to. But as you guys can see with the belt on like this, there's a little bit of overhang from my stomach. It's pushing in on me. And now what I would do to set up for any lift, whether I'm using a bench or a deadlift or a squat, is in this moment, take in a breath, and it's not gonna be a full breath. If you take in too much air, you'll probably pass out from all the pressure inside your body. Take in a breath, and then use that breath to expand your diaphragm and then flex your abs and push everything. So just like this. And now that belt is pushing in as my body's pushing out, and that's what's making the core super solid, and that's what's gonna give you a strong lift. So if your belt's on, and you're gonna go do a lift, and as soon as you bend over to grab the bar, that belt slides up your back, and then as you lift it, it slides back down. You need to adjust your belt. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. You know, just looking out for you, want to make sure that you guys are lifting in the gym, you're maximizing your gains, and Dave, this belt is totally fine. Oh, there was the one point I wanted to make. When you guys saw me, you know, going like this to tighten the belt, that's all that power lifting belt does is you're able to go as far as you want to and then that clamp it. So if this gets annoying and you have a hard time tightening the belt, that's what the clamp's for. It gets rid of having to do that. So Dave, thank you for coming by and telling me your belt story. Thank you. Because it inspired this video. <laughs> so if you guys like this tip and you want to see more, be sure to like and comment below. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. And if you haven't made your free profile on MuscularStrength.com, the best place to go for social media to engage with other Hermanites, Make sure you go there and check it out. So Dave, what's your maximum output, bro? More, now that you have this belt. <laughs> <laughs>